Backstroke, swimming upside down and backwards. What makes this stroke easier is to have a great kick. We want to see nice, fast feet. The knees don't come out of the water, but the feet boil the water as they kick the top off. From the feet, let's move up to the arms. We want to see a great hand entry right outside the shoulder, 8 to 12 inches deep with a hand, and then the hand presses to the bottom and starts to accelerate. You need a 90-degree elbow bend to get maximum strength out of this stroke. And then finish alongside your hip with maximum acceleration with the palm facing the bottom of the pool. Why does the palm face the bottom of the pool? To help bring up the shoulder as it lifts the arm on the recovery. The recovery of the arm should be nice and relaxed. You can bring the thumb out first or the back of the hand out, but it should be nice and relaxed. As it passes by your face, it will then rotate to where the little finger will enter first. The important part of backstroke is that we don't swim on our back. We turn from side to side, and our legs follow us as they kick from side to side. And a nice deep catch will allow that opposite shoulder to rotate up and out of the water as we swim over the top of the water and not through the water. Backstroke involves two types of kicks. We have the back flutter kick, which is a six-beat kick on the back, and we have dolphin kick, which may be the fastest kick that we have, also done on the back. Real nice streamline. Build the legs to 100% and then come up and go right into the same kick you want to use when you're racing. Nice, fast feet. A small kick, but nice, fast feet. We want to keep that kick small for two reasons. Number one, we don't want a big kick that's going to give us more resistance, and we want our arm turnover to be able to match the nice, fast kick that we see out here with Didi. We start to build the feet to the breakout, real fast dolphin kick there, and then we have the regular dolphin kick on the surface all the way to the wall. I know that you've seen a lot of dolphin kick on the back already as we went through butterfly, but I can't emphasize this enough. It helps all four strokes, and it's just fundamental for this great speed that you see with the backstrokers these days. Our next kicking drill is to help those who have a tendency to sit in the water. We'd like to place both hands in the lower back and slightly press up so the hips are in alignment with the rest of the body. Ready, go. Once again, pushing off on her back, streamlining, putting both hands in the small of her back. Now, when you see a backstroker like Dee, Dee there's no chance that she'd be sitting in the water, but so many of your young backstrokers have a tendency to sit in their water and let their hips drop, and this just pushes those hips right back to the surface. Let's work on shoulder rotation next. This will be a kicking drill with both hands down to our side, emphasizing the roll of the shoulder as we move through the water. Remember now, the kick must turn with the shoulders, so we kick from side to side. We roll right through the back position as we go from side to side, really emphasizing the shoulders coming out of the water. Good, good streamline, hands immediately to the side, and good shoulder roll. You can see that the head stays still, and each shoulder comes up out of the water. That looks great. Okay, as Didi picks up the foot speed on this kick, it creates more resistance because she's going faster, so she has to be able to roll those shoulders up out of the water. That's what we're looking for right there. That looks real good. Now, as we roll our shoulders, we hold that head still. Our eyes are locked in, our head's locked in, and we have real good shoulder roll on this. Let's look at a one-arm only drill. We want to leave one arm down to our side. Our other arm will be entering right above the outside line of our shoulder, and we will continue to swim with only that one arm, concentrating on a nice deep catch and good hand acceleration. Once again, we're looking at real good shoulder rotation, and we're, we're separating the one arm out of the full stroke, so you can reach that hand and put it right behind your shoulder on the entry, get a nice deep catch, and start to pick up hand speed as you accelerate through your stroke. So we're looking at hand speed and looking at good shoulder rotation. Left arm only, keeping a nice, fast, small kick. So important as we watch both shoulders rotate up and out of the water. 
That opposite side shoulder has to come out of the water also. And as she finishes her stroke, the shoulder rotates out of the water. OK, as Dee Dee finishes each stroke, we're looking for that hand acceleration. And that really helps to pop that shoulder out of the water as you see that good finish and snap to the end of your stroke. We have an advanced kicking drill. This is done on the side with a lower arm down to our side and the upper arm pointing straight up to the sky. We'd like our eyes to follow straight up that arm without moving the head or arm kick down the pool. Here's the real advanced drill of what we just saw. Now this is kicking with that arm straight up in the air. She's looking straight up her arm and she has that shoulder rotated up out of the water. Changing arms, changing arms. You can see the shoulder rotate right up out of the water. This is a tough drill, and it requires good legs to support the body as the arm comes up out of the water. Perfect. That looks great. That hand straight up and down, the shoulders up, and she's kicking on her side. That's really a tough drill. There, that arm is pointing straight up and down. Perfect head position. He changes to the other side. You can see the shoulder up out of the water. The legs have to support that, so the backstroke kick is very, very important. Moving into the advanced one-arm only drill, we'd like to see three right arm only, three left arm only, and the emphasis on this drill would be a nice deep catch, 12 to 16 inches deep. Good streamlining, start that kick. There's three left arm only goes right into the next drill of three right arm only. Look how nice those shoulders roll up out of the water. The reason these shoulders need to roll up, we don't want to swim through the water. We want to swim over the water. And this gives our chance, this gives a chance for our shoulders to rotate up over the top of the water so we're not plowing through the water. Right arm only, a good hand acceleration, nice deep catch. It moves right into the other arm. OK, as Sean does this drill, watch his hips underwater, because the hips really generate the power. With lazy hips, you have to get the back of your hand in the water. With good, fast hips, you can make that turn with the shoulders in time to get the little finger to enter first. That hand entry is right on top of the shoulder, right above the shoulder. We want to drive that hand to a nice deep catch position. We don't want it to just float down. Very good. Let's look at a drill that's very helpful at a swimming meet during warm up. We call it the three second and roll drill. We want to be on one side, completely on your side, for three full seconds. Then you'll take a full stroke and roll back to the other side. You'll hold that position for three full seconds before you roll back to the other side. Moving down the pool at three seconds at a time, staying from side to side. Here we see the three count, where you stand at one arm, and you really get a good feeling of how you roll from side to side, how those shoulders rotate. This drill starts out of the three count. It can be brought down to a cute two count, and then further on down to a one count. But it really gives that backstroke an opportunity to go from the side to the side with a slight hesitation on each side, so they feel that total body roll. We have a drill that all the kids will enjoy. Take your goggles off, place them on your forehead. Swim down the pool, trying not to let the goggles fall off by holding the head perfectly still as you rotate your shoulders from side to side. On this drill, we've taken the goggles off. The straps are no longer around the head, and they're just sitting on the forehead. And this is a drill to emphasize that we have to keep our head still and allow the shoulders to rotate around this, the head being held perfectly still. This drill really emphasizes to the young swimmer that you must hold your head still. The shoulders really rotate around that head. And you take your goggles off, you place them right on your forehead, and then you hold them there as you swim down the pool. Let's go into a drill that works quickness. It's called the spin drill. We sit up in the water, and we move our arms as quickly as we can. Oh, that looks good. 
This drill really takes away everything that we've talked about in backstroke, but it is a drill that works on real, real good quickness. On this drill, we want to sit up in the water so we're facing where we're coming from and really turn over those arms as quickly as we possibly can. Sitting up in the water and the arms moving through the water as quickly as you can get them to move. Now, on this drill, you don't try to catch the water. You just try to move your hands as, through the water as quickly as you possibly can. As Sean comes toward us, let's watch and see how much of his back is out of the water. He really is sitting up high and moving those hands with a lot of quickness. Here's a fun drill you get to do with a partner, swimming backstroke with your eyes closed. The good swimmer really does swim straight down the middle of the pool. The beginning swimmer has some stroke flaws, and you can find out which direction they push and eliminate that stroke flaw. OK, this time we're going to see Sean coming down the pool with his eyes closed. And Dee Dee will be at the other end to stop him, so there's no chance of running into the wall. OK, Sean. Nice and straight. Ready, go. This is a little scary at first, but with the teammate there to stop you, you know that you'll be all right. Good, good. Putting all the drills together now, on backstroke, we'd like to see good fast feet. We'd like to see the arms continuous movement with no hesitation at the top of the stroke or at the finish of the stroke. Perfect head position while the body rotates the shoulders around. And watch a D stroke fall into place. This 25, Dee Dee starts to pick up her speed a little bit. You can see where the water line hits her in the cap. It's like taking the forehead off and putting it in the back of the cap, and the water line's right at the forehead. You'll see how relaxed her face is and how relaxed her hands are on the recovery. And as she brings the hands past the face, the hands turn so the little finger enters first. The hand enters right behind the shoulder. She has a, a nice deep catch, good shoulder rotation, holds that head still. We just can't forget how important a breathing pattern is on backstroke. A lot of the young swimmers think that you breathe whenever you have to or whenever you can, but you definitely want to have a pattern. One other thing we want to look for in backstroke is a real relaxed face and you'd have a loose jaw and floppy cheeks. And a nice relaxation through the face will not allow yourself to tighten up through the neck or the shoulders. As we work through all of the drills, you can see the complete stroke as Sean puts them all together here.